ご覧いただきありがとうございます。現地6月2日、ヤンキースタジアムでは、エンジェルス対ヤンキースのダブルヘッダー、2試合が行われました。6連敗中のエンジェルスの先発は大谷翔平。今シーズン、これが最初で最後のニューヨーク遠征となるエンジェルス。ヤンキースタジアムには、多くの日本人ファンの皆さんも観戦に訪れていました。一方、ヤンキースの先発はこの試合まで4勝1敗、防御率1点台と、開幕から素晴らしいピッチングを続けるネスター・コルテス。この試合中、ヤンキースファン、エンジェルスファンにインタビューを行いましたので、ご覧ください。カイオ、96? Yeah, I mean, you know, I grew up watching Derek Jeter and, and you know, the core four in that team, so, you know, I got to watch a lot of good winning baseball over the years, so that's. If that game was today, I'd go Nesta. You know, again, a, a generational talent. You know, that's one of the reasons I went out of my way to come to this game today. It was it's him and Nesta on the mound. It was like, you know, it was the dream matchup, you know?、Um, that's a long way away. Well, I'm originally from Southern California, just outside of、uh, Anaheim, which is like Riverside, San Bernardino area. So I grew up really liking the Angels. Big, as a kid, I was a big fan of、uh, Angels in the outfield with Danny Glover. You know, you had the, the hands going, you know, the,、uh, Christopher Lloyd out in the outfield catching some dimes. So, always been a fan of the Angels more so than the Dodgers since then. Oh,、so, yeah, yeah, 2002. That was, that was a great year. We had the Rally Monkeys going. We had,、uh, I think, first of all, was closing it down. Beat, beat Barry Bonds cheating ass, you know, so it was good. It was good. <laughs> it's better than, than the last decade, so it's, it, you know, we're on the up more so. We finally got a, a Trout and a Tani, both healthy, playing pretty good、uh, baseball.、Um, not so good coming into New York. We, we were on a skid and we're still skidding right now. Hopefully, there's another game tonight that we can, you know, bounce back and like take that with us.、Um, but, you know, We always start off pretty decent or we start really bad and finish decent. I just want to keep the momentum going, keep, keep it going to the point where we can at least make the playoffs. You know, I'm not thinking championship or anything like that, but just get back in the swing of things. We have so much talent around two really great players, but if you had two of the best players in the MOB and you can't make the playoffs, then what are we doing, you know? Oh, of course, yeah. I, like, I would hurt so much if he went somewhere else, especially like, somewhere like the Yankees. I would be, I would be so upset.、Uh, yeah, I like a t o n y I like his attitude. I like、uh, his focus. Not having a good game today, but like, that, it comes in stride. So I'm still really excited. I'm excited with also like, the, the him to be like, you know, on the cover of MLB The Show, to be like, this, like, this、uh, image of a, of a great baseball player that's, that's not white. So I'll take it, you know, especially bringing all the.、Uh, International flair with it as well. I love it. Marcia.、Uh, about 15 years, maybe? Yeah. No, I'm from Newfoundland, Canada. I've just、uh, always watched them on TV. So they've just always been my favorite. I used to be a very big Derek Jeter fan. So I continue to now I'm an Aaron Judge fan. I do not like the Jays, no. They're not my favorite team. Big competition for the Yankees, so I stick with the Yankees over the Jays. Of course they will. <laughs> they always do. Go Yankees! <laughs> my name is Patrick. I like it a lot.、Uh, we're winning. They're putting, the judges are staying healthy. It's good. We're, Nesta Cortez is putting on. There we go! Another home run for the day! 
right now he's probably going to get a blank check and whatever he wants. He's, he's on pace with the MVP. He's doing it all. So I hope he's a Yankee for life. He's really fun to watch. That's true. But hey, we've had worse. <laughs> we've had a rod have done with contracts like that. So he's still producing. This year he's staying healthy. So he's putting up big numbers. So, can't really hate. He deserves it. Probably. The Rays never. They're always there. Toronto is the big, the big team on, on paper in the beginning of the season. Right. Everyone declared that they were the winners already, that their lineup top to bottom was. But, Rays are always there. They don't have a lot of big, flashy names, but they know how to win. This year, I think. It's going to be camp again. Yeah, I mean, the problem is there have been a couple of games, especially against Toronto over the weekend, that they just should have won. You know, like, you, they end up throwing these games away. Um, I know it's too easy to criticize the manager, but I always get the sense with Joe Madden that he was on the cutting edge 10 years ago, still a good manager five years ago, but I think he thinks that he's this, you know, amazing, forward-thinking, ahead-of-the-curve guy, and I just don't think that's true anymore. I think most managers manage like he used to. And so I think he puts in a couple of curious things. Like, I, I know this is now ancient history, but you know, the bases loaded walk in Texas or wherever it was, just absolutely insanity. Like, and it's the kind of thing where, you know, he, he thinks that it's so smart, but it just isn't. Um, um, I don't love the lineup. I mean, if you look at the, you know, if you look at maybe even the bottom half, really, you know, if you have, if you have um, the catcher and Renquifo and Velasquez and Wade, that's that's a long. Well, I, I'm also a big cricket fan because I'm English, and we would call that a long tail, which means you have a large proportion of your hitters are not very good at it, and that is something you try and avoid. For me, it comes down to how the team has been run, partially by the general manager, but mostly by the owner. Which is, you know, you throw a lot of money at I won't say bad players, but players who do not deserve either do not deserve the money or are not good fits for the team, and then you have to try and look around for the solutions when you could spread your money so much smarter. Like, I love, I love Renjo, but that was not a good contract the day it was signed, and it's just getting worse. But, could be. I mean, I, I will not know. I, if you look at me, I'm not a professional athlete, but it just must be such a hard thing to do. And I'm glad that, I'm still glad that they are trying to have him do both. But that's tough, man. That's very, very tough. And I thought a couple of years ago, maybe even two years ago, they would have to have him pick between pitching or hitting. Right. And maybe they still will. Yeah. But if they do, they're not going to pay him $300 million if he's only one of the two. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, DJ. Uh, my whole life. I'm born and raised in the Bronx. Honestly, the, the story this year is our pitching. Number 99. The story this year is number 99, and our starting pitching. To be honest, um, we have we have some of the best unlikely heroes at our starting pitching, and it's been it's been amazing. So that our starting pitching has been like just allowing us to do so much. So it's been like taking a lot of pressure off of our batters, off of our, off of our infield. So kind of Falafa has been he's been acclimating perfect. At first, we was a little hard on him. I was here, I was a part of the booze at first, but then, <laughs> you know, after a while, you know, he really settled in. Trevino, we had an injury to a backup catcher. You know, unfortunately, Higgy's been not doing as well, but Trevino, free agent signing, has been, he's been doing amazing. Um, and we just all been, we just been supporting our guys. Aaron Hicks been struggling, Gallo's been struggling, but... We're, we're, we're trying to support, you know, we, we have a we have some guys that boo a lot, but we should have paid him what he wanted. That was going to cost us a little bit more money, but he's worth it. That's our guy. I want him. We're playing against Trout right now. I take Aaron Judge over Trout every day. I love him. He's amazing. He's about to start raining. <laughs> Did you enjoy the Yankees this year? Like, 
they're, they're, they're like a better team so far this year. You know, they're like they have good chemistry. They, you know, they're like they're playing well, like as the, as the team that they should be playing. And I think that if they keep on, you know, going, playing well, they might make it all the way this year. That is a, is a tricky situation because. We offered him a good contract, but I, but you know what, he does what, what's best for him, so I respect that. But I think he could get like a like a nine nine year, ten year deal. I know, but I I think Nick is I think Nick is to do it. The Mets are a good team, okay? And it, 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 it's New York. They they're a good team, and I see it being Yankee versus Mets. Well, I don't hate them. I support them, but I don't hate them. Playoffs, yeah. At this rate, yes. But World Series, the only thing that could that could stop them is Houston, the Astros. Other than that, if, if they beat the Astros, they're in. I hate them. They took away a 2017 Dream Team title. So I and I, you know, like I remember that year. I was like, I, you know, I, I give up my respect. But after what happened today, I was like, I don't want them to end up there ever again. So Cortez, Nestor. At this rate, it could be either Cortez or Cole, but I could see it be um, Cortez. Pay attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. We have news on the resumption of our game. We plan to resume the game between 5.30 and 5.35. Thank you very much for your patience. アナウンスの通り、5時30分から35分の間に再開された試合は、ヤンキースが6対1で勝利。約1時間半後に開始となった第2試合は、エンジェルスが8回表に先制しますが、ヤンキースはその裏に逆転。2対1で勝利し、エンジェルスとの3連戦をスイープ。敗れたエンジェルスは8連敗となりました。ご覧いただきましてありがとうございました。よろしければチャンネル登録をお願いいたします。